I did decorate the house for Christmas in the middle of November but if I get a random burst of energy to do anything I'm taking advantage of it so the house is done, the pet enclosures not so much, we still have Halloween in the background and I'm not entirely sure if I am going to decorate the pets for Christmas or not. I'll explain more about that in the rest of the video but speaking of Christmas if you're struggling like I am to know what to get anyone I feel like I'm a really easy person to buy for because having a really obvious interest in animals there are so many gift ideas out there and I have one for you if you know someone else that likes animals or you need an idea for yourself. So this video is in partnership with a brand called Follow and they make these bracelets and these are in collaboration with a bunch of different charities and organisations that raise money towards conservation of animals in the wild. And this isn't just a gift, it's also an experience you can give someone because each bracelet comes with an animal that you can track and you can pick from a range of different animals. They've got sharks, lions, elephants, also some more traditionally festive animals like polar bears and penguins. I remember one Christmas I was given a polar bear to track and that was pretty much the best present ever so so many animals you can buy the bracelets for and support the conservation of them in the wild. So if you are interested in getting someone one of these bracelets for Christmas or just treating yourself to one you can use my discount code and that is Emulology20 that gets you 20% off your entire order while still donating the same amount of percentage of profits to help animals in the wild and the link to their website is going to be down in the description. But this video is pretty much just going to be whatever I can film in today and that is it, that's going to be what's going in the video. And I've got a few things to update you on. Things have been pretty hectic so let's start with the pets. So this is what my office is looking like at the moment. We have a mouse hotel going on. On the bottom of course is the rescue mice, magpie, robin and pigeon. They should hopefully be going to their new home sometime soon within the next few weeks. Obviously just waiting for her to get better and however long that takes is up to her. So they are on the bottom and then on the top are my new personal mice which I wasn't expecting to get so soon. I did agree to have them when the time was right but they have arrived extra early so they are on the top in their own enclosure. I've not had any time to do them their own video or introduce them. I will get around to it at some point. Things have just been very, very hectic. So that should hopefully be the video after this one. Hopefully, fingers crossed, and I can introduce you to them because they are so, so cute and I'm very excited. So they are in this enclosure and the plan with them is I'm going to do introductions at some point when I've got a spare minute with the mice and my older boys are getting quite old so I have been weighing up whether to do it or not or whether to just keep them separate um, until they pass away but I think they're, they're okay enough to do it so that should hopefully be next week maybe. And then so the plan with the mice is they're going to go into introductions with these two girls in here and that gives me a chance to attempt to do a bioactive setup with them in their main enclosure in the Linmon. And that gives time for things to settle, time for me to work out what I'm doing with it whilst they're in introduction. So works out really good time-wise. And of course, my two older boys are two now, which is a scary thought. So I did need to get new mice at some point. And these two really needed a home. So I can't wait for you guys to meet them. But that is the plan with the mice, going to put them into introductions. They're going to live in this enclosure for a bit whilst I figure out their bioactive setup. So look out for that video hopefully next week of introducing you to these girls and I might put the intros in that video too. The only thing is with the mice being in introductions and then living in this enclosure, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do a Christmas theme or a Christmas setup with them which is going to be a shame because I did buy them a few bits. I guess I could put them into the Harvest Mouse enclosure, but I could always set up this as Christmas theme for them once they're all settled in intros. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how long it takes them to all settle together, assuming that they like each other in the first place. So I could also set up this. This right now is just the setup they came with um, from their previous owner. So I guess I could Christmasify the Alaska instead whilst I'm working on the other enclosure. We'll have to see, but that could kind of make Christmas difficult if they're in introductions and can't have many hides and things. So if you're not seeing a cute Christmas setup with the mice from me, that's why, because they're probably in the middle of introductions and trying not to fight 
over like cute Christmas ceramic houses and things. Speaking of Christmas things, it is now time to decant all of the Rat Accessories 12 Days of Christmas box. Mostly into the rat cage, I think. Um, and if you've not seen this before, I did show this in last month's vlog. And I think there's still time to order if you want to. Maybe not internationally because I think the last international date it is getting very, very soon. But if you are living in the UK and you want to get your rats or your mice or your hamster a present, this is a really, really good idea. So I'm going to put most of this into the rat cage, I think. And then some of the smaller pieces I might save for the mice or I might put into the harvest mouse enclosure. But let's Christmasify the rat cage because I've taken out all of the Halloween bits and it's looking very, very bare. One thing that I'm really excited for is the new Christmas stock we have in the store at the moment. Now, at the time you're watching this, some things might be out of stock, but I will continuously try to restock them during November and December. Also, we are just about past what I would say is guaranteed delivery of international orders, so mostly places like the US, Canada, Australia. You might not get this in time for Christmas if you were to order now. But for places like the UK, you can still get these in time for Christmas. And this is the first thing. This is a set of four chew toys. We've got a gingerbread man, a star, a snowman, and a Christmas tree. So this is the large size. And then we do also have them in a slightly smaller size for hamsters or mice. Oh my goodness, they are so cute. And then we have these candy canes. These again come in a set of four and they're like a wicker material and my rats really enjoy shredding and peeling off this kind of toy. We then also have this, this is a Christmas wreath to hang in your small pet's cage. It's got bells on and again it's like a wicker material with stars, so cute. I'm going to put one of these into the rat cage and hear this at 3am. <laughs> The next thing, I'll put a picture on screen because we did sell out pretty quickly and I have got more coming in stock, but this is a penguin pinata and you can put treats and stuff in the back. So silly and so cute. <laughs> then we also have these and I sold these last year and they're now back in stock. This is a wicker ball tree and you can hide food and treats inside, kind of acting as a foraging toy. So this is something really fun and colourful they can chew and also try to get food from. Very similar but just a different shape is this Christmas tree toy. Again, it has all of this shredded paper in that you can hide their food and treats in and they have to find. So those are just some of the Christmas toys we have in stock at the moment. If you are interested in buying any of these, I do recommend doing that sooner rather than later because I imagine the postal system is going to be crazier than ever this year. But the link to my website is down in the description and I look forward to packing all of your orders. I apologise by the way if this video is a bit dark, it is incredibly dark outside and this time of year is just really difficult for filming because I do prefer to use natural lighting, it doesn't reflect as much on my glasses and it just looks better but there is pretty much no natural lighting because you wake up and it's already dark so that has been annoying me slightly but I thought I'd give you some updates on things to do with the rescue. I don't think I've had a chance to probably thank you because I think it was probably last month's vlog that I was asking for donations for the enclosures and wow 
I think in total once you take off all of the PayPal fees you've raised us about a thousand pounds towards the enclosures which is just incredible it's not quite enough to have bought two enclosures but we have ordered one and it's currently being manufactured and made which is really exciting so I can't wait to see that we have had to kind of dip into those funds slightly because Magpie the mouse with her respiratory infection is costing us close to around £100 so next time we think about buying a cheap three five pound mouse please consider that they can easily cost you hundreds and hundreds in vet bills because she has needed a lot of medications and that price gets up there so thank you so much for all of your donations not only has it helped us get started but also helped us to care for her too but yeah thank you so so much to anyone that chose to donate you can still if you want to because there's always going to be running costs with animals and buying things so our PayPal and bank account is in the description and also the fundraiser is still going because we still need more enclosures and things so all of that will be linked in the description but in terms of like animals that are coming in obviously we've still got the mice that need to be looked after and I'm trying to get guinea pigs at the moment I got very very close to getting some that were in a very very dire situation and needed rescuing it was a female living with two unneutered males. So the poor thing is probably very, very likely to be pregnant and being harassed by two males in the same cage, a small indoor rabbit guinea pig cage. So really, really wanted to get them out of the situation. And she eventually agreed to hand them over to the rescue because she did want money for them originally. But obviously as a rescue, you can't do that. So she agreed on a date and a time and we were halfway there to pick them up. And she messaged and said, oh, instead, I've decided to go out for the day. So I was super, super frustrated by this. But me being me, I was like, right, you've got two chances before I'm done and I can't deal with the situation anymore. I'll come back tomorrow. And we agreed again on a time. And all day I was checking in with her, like, promise you'll be in at this time. Yes, yes, I will. That's fine. And then five minutes before I was due to leave, I double checked and was like, you'll definitely be in. Okay, right and she was like no i've gone out again and this isn't someone that's local this is someone that would have to travel to and get them so i was like right i can't deal with you messing us around anymore we've got other guinea pigs waiting to be helped if you want them to come in you'll have to drop them off and she was like oh well maybe so that is super frustrating because that poor guinea pig is likely to be pregnant giving birth around males and it's just going to be a continuous cycle so i really really wanted to help them but if someone is being stubborn and messing you around there's not too much you can do about it so i set everything up ready for them and it's just sat there empty but there are so so many guinea pigs needing help so found some other ones that are still in a situation that's not ideal in a small indoor cage so gonna help them and i think we're gonna get them next week so not the end of the world but i just feel so so bad for that poor guinea pig but what can we expect from someone that's irresponsible enough to house a female with intact males and not expect babies people are just people just drive me insane I asked my lovely channel members if they had any questions and we've got a few the first one is do you know when you'll get your puppy no so when it comes to dogs and puppies nothing is guaranteed pretty much until they're a few weeks old and you get assigned or matched to a puppy so could be a couple of months could be way longer I'm not sure and I won't really know until closer to the time and how have you been feeling and the pets I'm okay, my body is just acting up. I can't really walk very well because my left knee, 
I, I assume it's something to do with EDS or hypermobility, but my left knee is absolutely wrecked, so that's fun. And the pets are doing okay. Obviously, Magpie the mouse, I think that was another question. How is the little rescue mouse Magpie doing? All better now. She's doing a lot better, especially on the new medication. Hello. She's doing a lot better on the new medication. Not making as much noise, so fingers crossed if she carries on like this, she can go home very, very soon. But in terms of the other pets, they are right there next to me. They are doing okay. Um, Crumbit has actually got a respiratory infection as well. That has kind of appeared in the last week and a half, week or so, um, just about as we turn the heating on. So assuming that is kind of connected, but good timing because when I took him, when I took Magpie to the vets, I also took Crumbit as well. So he is now also on medication for a respiratory infection and he hates taking his medication. So it feels like everyone is on medication at the moment, but everybody else is doing okay. I think I mentioned this earlier on in the video, but my two older mice, Possum and Flurry, they are both around two years old minimum right now. So they are looking a bit rough. They don't look as healthy as they would have done in their prime. They're a bit patchy here and there with their fur. Obviously one of them is a Texel, so he looks a bit sparse, a bit patchy and they both just look like little old men because they are so everyone else is doing okay there is a rat biting the back of me right now excuse me stop biting clothing interrupting the q a part of this video just slightly because the rest of these clips are pretty dark and you don't just want to stare at my face for the rest of the video so i have filmed some clips of the rats and the mice um, playing with their new foraging toys. So I'll put those clips in now and then carry on with the Q&A so you have something a bit more interesting to look at. So before I sell anything in my store, whether it's treats, toys, accessories, I always like to try them with the rats and the mice first just to make sure they're suitable and they can use them. This is one of the new toys. It's like a PVC pipe type foraging toy and I'm gonna fill this up for them. So we have this and then these ones I'm really excited for. They look like this, and they're just about the right size that mice can also use them too. So this one they have to spin these bits. You can just put this in the enclosure like this, or you can also screw this to the bars if you wanted to. So that is going to the mice. And then we have this one, similar but slightly different. They have to lift up the different flap sections. So this is lightweight enough that hopefully the mice should be able to lift this. So. Let's give it a go and see if they can. But these are now in my store because I've been trying this one with the mice and this one with the rats, as you can see, and it's been going well. So very, very excited to have new toys for my pets, but also for your pets too. Next question is, what has been your favorite thing about having harvest mice? No offense to my fancy mice, but I would say they are so much more fascinating to watch. They are out and about way more often. If I see my fancy mice once a day, then I'm lucky. But the harvest mice, at least one of them, is always about doing things. They are so fun to watch. And definitely their prehensile tails. Although fancy mice will sometimes wrap their tails around your hand and each other, the way that harvest mice use their tails is just the cutest thing. So I think that would probably be my favorite thing. I'm in a rat cage setup group and one of the big things in the group is that rats are fossorial and height doesn't matter as much as floor space. So if you have a cage and add an add-on on top, you can't put more rats. But if you put it side by side, you can, why can't I read today? But if you put it side by side, you can have more rats. My question is, have you done any research on this or have an opinion on it? Sorry for the long question. Um, yes, I agree with this. Rats are fossorial. And even though they do spend a lot of their time up in the hammocks, in the cage, floor space is so, so important and more important than having height in the cage. And I do think it's a shame that this, the cage I've got, is pretty much the biggest cage you can buy in the market because they could be way, way wide if they wanted to. Um, and you can, of course, add add-ons to them, as I mentioned. And if you are gonna do this and you do have the space, it is much more beneficial to put this on the side rather than the top. I know some people with cages like mine do recommend you can put 10, 12 rats in these. Personally, just in my personal preference and opinion, I couldn't personally see more than five, six rats at a push in a cage this size. Just by watching them move around, I couldn't imagine having 10 or 12 in this cage. I just, 
couldn't envision it for myself so I do agree with the statement that floor space is so important and I think a lot of people try to justify having that many rats in a cage by saying that not all rats are going to be on the floor at the same time, they will be up and about doing things and you'll maybe have just a couple on the floor digging, foraging and things but when it comes to food time if you're feeding them all at the same time all 10 or 12 rats are going to be down there in each other's space trying to dig and forage so that's why I personally do prefer to have less rats I know some people aren't going to agree with that but floor space is so so important and I've tried to utilise that as best I can with the cage I've got by not having as many rats Are you getting Christmas presents for your pets? If so, what are you getting them? I feel really mean with this answer because some years I will go all out if they need anything I'll buy them a new cage or new accessories Hubble got a few things last Christmas I have not bought anyone a single thing this Christmas I'm saving it for a couple of other things big things in life in general so not really priority when they've got everything they need if I can think of anything they'll get them but they've obviously got a few things from my store that doesn't cost me anything at all so not really planning anything for them for Christmas and that's okay they don't need anything and they don't really know the difference um so yeah no then the next question is what cat litter and food do you use with Hubble so in terms of his cat litter I just use the cheapest one the cheapest clumping one that is from Lidl and I think it's like two pounds or something for a big big bag and I've not found anywhere cheaper and then for his food so he was raw fed for an entire year and that was mostly because that's what I thought and what people tell you you're supposed to do and it just didn't work for him for me it was a nightmare it caused both of us so much stress so instead he is now on a brand called Nature's Menu and it's pretty much the next best thing it's like a high quality um, wet food and he likes it so that is what he is fed on. But that is all of the questions. I just had to be running at my laptop because I want to thank all of my channel members. But these are the names of the rats here. We have got Alison M, M Robertson, Evelyn C, Neki Rose. I really hope I'm saying that correctly. Rhiannon M, um, Serena F, Jessica G, Brett C, Jessica W. Please, can you just stop? Um, Bammy the Great, Heather M, Carrie S, Devon V. Wendy Y, Caitlin B, Jessica, Madeline P, Devon S, Brandy W, Craig K, Triple Takeover, Sarah N, and Laurie C. Thank you so much. Please, someone come and save me because this rat is destroying this entire room. But if you are interested in becoming a channel member and seeing updates on new pets, which there is actually new pets, which I've mentioned in this video, but these guys have already seen them and know all about them. So that kind of thing happens over on my channel membership. But I hope you guys enjoyed this impromptu rushed video. I did consider not doing one this week because things have just been hectic. But I am trying my best and I can't not upload anything. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!